it, so we'll see here. Oh, the snow is starting to stick just a little bit, not on the roads, but on the side. And uh, we're going up from the last hill to the job. I just went safe with it, left her in second. I don't want to. Got a line back there, but whatever. The snow is definitely still trying to come down. I don't know if it's. Yeah, no, it hasn't let up. It's still coming down. Oh, by golly, she stuck to the road, boys. saw the easier part of getting out of that driveway but the snow has vanished it is gone well it's still a little bit there but kind of a freak little snowstorm earlier so it's kind of neat but it would have been a lot neater if I wasn't towing in it Okay, so something cool just happened. It's nothing big, but little things help. They matter. Matter to me anyway, but I'm showing up to get the lamb track from this last job that we did. Mulching up this building and some other brush and stuff. And right here is where I turned my trailer around. You saw it in my other video. But her little green car was parked right there when I pulled in and I thought, oh, dang. You know, I don't want to have to go trouble her to ask her to move the car so I, I pulled up just looked around real quick see where I could park and I looked back down here and she is hopping in her car and she moved it down the driveway I didn't ask her nothing she just saw that I needed to use her driveway again didn't even ask the first time either uh, just a tight area and that's what we saw and uh, yeah so she moved her car for me and I started backing up and she helped me back up, spotted me to pretty much where I needed to stop. She gave me a thumbs up when I got to that pot, part and um, rolled down the window and said thank you and she went inside. It just, uh, it's something, it's super small and super, super helpful for me because most of the time driving around in these residential areas, I'm not a big setup, but I'm bigger than whatever they have. But you find a lot of people that just don't want to even really help you out. They kind of get mad that you hold them up on their road. And if I was there every day, sure, you'd get mad at me. But I'm there one, two, maybe three days, and then I'm gone. And it's only for 15 minutes that one or whatever days I'm there. So, but that being said, we are, I already took the 080 excavator to the job and I just came back and got up the lamb track I'm gonna take it up there Finished off 
two jobs today. Put a fence back on one, and then the other job, finish pulling out a bunch of metal out of a bunch of other job or out of logs. Finish pulling out some metal and freaking nails and anchors and stuff out of a different job. Got the excavator out of that job, brought it to this one. And then I went back to a completely different job that we did a week ago. Grabbed the lamb track, brought it to this job. Dad's gonna stick around for a little bit. It's closing in on dark now. And I'm still 30 minutes from the house, so. He's gonna stay for probably till it gets dark. Get a jump start on that job tomorrow. Dog barking at me. I thought I squealed my tires on something. And then in the morning, I got to go grind a couple stumps for a fella out where we were today because I ran out of daylight to do that today. Oh, if we can grab a gear. Anyway, so that's going to close out today's video. A lot of moving around today. Got some stuff accomplished, but. Please give my videos a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't yet. I want to get this channel rolling. I got bigger and better stuff coming than just towing tractors around the same area. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.